Good evening, free Enterprise fans, and welcome to day two of the Adamant Cup. I'm Neon Gray, and with me here is uh, Tybalt. Hello. Hello. Ah, so we've got uh, Blue Cat Loach versus Frankie Bones for you all tonight. Um, what do you think of this matchup here? Well, I, I mean, I haven't seen too much of Blue Cat Loach. I know they're, at least from what I've heard, they're a good runner. Frankie, I've raced before, and he can surprise you. I know that much. So this is going to be a very interesting race between these two runners. Yeah, I, I don't know either of these runners very well, uh, personally. Um, you know, I know, their, I know their names. I know they're good. I know they both uh, certainly pull in results. So, you know what? I am excited to see what we uh, what we get from them. Uh, also in the booth here, we have Solaris doing the restreaming and Black Ice doing the tracking. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at all of these massive amount of objectives we have to do. We have to do seven of them to get our crystal. Uh, and it looks like they're all over the place, too. That's so many objectives. Uh... You know, we've we've got we've got the the classic the uh, complete cave Magnus. Uh, everybody wants to see that because everybody likes the music. Nobody likes having to do music when you don't have to. So if you have to do it, it's all good. I mean, we've got you know we've got a little bit underground. So we've got you know the the Queen of Monsters. Uh, we've got a little bit on the moon because we've got to take on the Marasame altar. Uh, hey, we at least get have to turn the pink tail, so we're guaranteed at least one of that special adamant armor. Oh, and that is one of my favorite things about uh, the adamant cup. Um, it's been such a long time since we've seen adamant armor in tournament play. And you know what? That is for very good reason. It's an incredibly powerful item. But in this tournament, you know, we're we're showcasing that um it's it's a major thing it can make or break any number of strategies it is it is fun to play with um then for other objectives we've got to do zot and we've got to do baron so we have our you know two gated character locations on the table both one at baron and two at zot and something's a little bit different in this particular tournament is that uh, Fu is actually a gated character still, but Cecil is now gated, when normally he's not. Yeah, that is uh, that is a feature of the new version of Free Enterprise, that, and that is one that is really exciting. You can put any character uh, to be restricted. In this case, it's, it's Cecil, who has dominated previous tournaments. Yeah, Starting so with it works. Pass. I, I mean, the the pseudo power couple, Kane and Porum. Okay, I mean, I'm happy. I've got a guaranteed white mage. I'm, how are you liking the beginning of this uh, starting team here? Yeah, uh, this is a solid starting team. Um, you can pretty much immediately start going through your combat-based objectives with this. Um, like. You don't you like you can do antline without opening any boxes uh, like this. Um, I wouldn't necessarily advise it, obviously, but um, you get this. You're you're ready to just gut it. Looks like Blue Cat Loach is taking advantage of the T Wildish uh, flag that we have here and grabbing our elevated chests in the Mist Cave. This is a very interesting play. I haven't seen this one. Uh far too often, whereas Frankie Bones doing uh, what we see as the normal uh, Eblin finding a was that fake Hanzo there uh, at the Mist Cave. Yeah, like a uh, ninja shirt, I think, too. Um, well, we're gonna go places that will uh, have a chance to see Edge, at least, so worth keeping that stuff around, and Oh, yeah, I mean, Edge with uh, at least one of the Hanzos, you know, fake or real, like, mm, he's, he's ready to go. Yeah. 
Uh, Bemos, friend? unfortunately, is not going to be hunt because our good old uh, friendly musical bard gives us an item. And it's just diamond armor. Wow. Uh, wow. You hate to see it, folks. I, I mean, I mean, so. Actually, actually you, you don't hate to see that. That's really nice for that game because we are on yeah. CNETI. Yeah, that was what I said. So we've at least got some armor for our cane. If not, it actually sells for quite a bit of money. Yeah, so you know what? That's not what you wanted, but it's something you could work with. Uh, free silkweb here at the public treasury, which, yeah, this is a call I do agree with. Um, you know what? You were might as well get something for your time. Right. It looks like Frankie's found at least two of the trap chests here in Evelyn. So soon, if uh, if he finds the third one, being able to full clear out Evelyn, a lot of highly weighted uh, chests there for some uh, good loot. Hoping maybe spike a defense sword, Gungnir spear, something for yeah. that cane. This is. Or, I. Or... Evelyn checks always feel really bad to me, but they pay off so often. It's like, I feel bad that it works. I hate that it works. Yeah, looking at what, what, what Frankie just found out of here out of Evelyn, we've got Artemis Bow, White Spear, Rune Axe. Yeah. I'm yeah. happy. I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But he's keeping going, which... Uh, there's still he can he's still got a loose uh, chest. This is dangerous because he's gonna have to. The the more chests he takes, the more likely it is he's gonna run into that last uh, that last one. Yeah, he he may have already found it. I know at least I saw at least two, but you know. Wow. Um, Mura Fakon. Okay, I guess he did uh, find all three. Yeah. I'm happy with a lot of them there. I mean, you know, Blue Cat Lodge checking out the uh, the Damsian treasury. I uh, can still find some decent loot here. Gets a silent staff for that porum. So we got a bonk stick. Yeah, I will like that. That, that silent staff. Uh, that really just Stardust Rod Two is a great find. Also, Ninja Star Two um, with C Decky on. If we find an early edge, because edge is also not restricted. Um. If we find that, if we find an edge, uh, a ninja star could just uh, pretty much take out and any any number of overworld bosses right then and there. Yeah, but it's all. But the thing is, you have to worry about the animation that the ninja star causes. It it just takes so long, and when you're trying to go fast, it's like, do I really want to spend the time throwing that star, or do I want to sell it for some fast cash? For a one shot on a bus, I will take the one shot on the bus. Like, especially with the other loot, like, you've got plenty of other things you can sell. Fuck a ninja yeah. star. Um, Bringbone's buying some extra star veils here and some Thor rages. I did see a Zeus gauntlet in uh, Frankie Bones' uh, inventory there. Uh, I. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Blue, Blue Cat Loach just. I mean, it, it's a free fight, considering the amount of damage it'll do. Uh, it's, but it's, it's also not going bad. Yeah, I, I don't think if if we turn around and find like the spoon at like Fabul or Antlion, I think our runners are going to turn right around and go and grab that Edward because spoon yeah. word, the spoon flags on and he, he gets to have some fun. Yeah, a absolutely. Um, it's good to know he's there. You can pick him up at your leisure. A dwarf axe is a great find for that cane. Um, yeah, and selling those stars and that diamond armor, being able to afford it, because that's a pretty pricey thing to buy. But being able to back row your cane reduces yeah, so much damage. That yeah, that is huge. That uh, that that really gives uh gives Kane a lot more uh you know it just makes him a lot stronger against so many circumstances Ooh, looks like frankie's deciding to to take the the edward here maybe just going for the experience but uh can hope for a low roll here gets the low roll 10 more hp than what you need 
Very nice. As long as you've got one, you're good. Was that a mop I saw there? Taking a nap? Oh. I just it... barely caught it out of the corner of my eye. Yeah, I did not see it myself, but, uh... That is... Ooh, it was the other blue-haired. It was an edge. Oh. Ooh, uh, Sand Ruby could be buried. I mean, we've we've got plenty of gear for that edge at this point. Yeah. So we're either hoping to find that Sand Ruby or we're hoping that he's our one duplicate character in the seed. You know, I mean, double edge. I'm I'm fine with the double edge. That's true. I'll, I mean, I'll take the time. Yeah. I mean, unless it's Edge sitting on the giant or behind an old gauntlet, I'll, I'll, I'll you know, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. We do have both of our runners uh, converging on the Antline Cave, so let's see who is here. Hmm. Just a Dark Elf. Kind of annoying, just because this fight is just going to take longer because of the transition, and we've got... But it always does, so... Really. So, so looking, at, looking at Blue Cat, using the time in, in this battle to actually equip the Dwarf Axe to back row glitch the cane and not take an extra menu time. It, it is also the best his best weapon right now, I think, too. Um, so there's no need to unequip it. Um... And well, yeah, no need to go on the menu, so yeah. Well, the, the thing is, the Dwarf Axe does reduce your agility, and these overworld spots are fairly slow, so you want to have a higher agility. Yeah, um, you absolutely do. Um, but that's another advantage of the in-battle equip, um, because your anchor is set at the start of the fight. Uh, just a nice hat. Lovely. Well, I, th I think it's the experience along the way that uh, we got there. Yeah. Because again, and... the early game experience is so useful because it could be a hook route and you want all that experience you could possibly get with this team. Yeah, and just, just having the extra levels from this will make every subsequent overworld check that much e easier. Like, it's the, the, the little steps count at this point in the game. Yeah. Both runners hot on each other's heels here, going and uh, doing fool. Are you a fan of the single dip fool? Honestly, yeah. Um, a lot of the time, it just makes sense. Um, it's a uh, it's a pretty quick check. Um, it's easy to do early on, um, and a lot of the time, you know, if you're not given the tools that make avoiding it make sense. Uh, a lot of the time you can just get yourself tied up and not trying to stay away from it. And just just bite the bullet, do the time. Uh, it's uh, your 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 K main checks in general are always they're they're always good bats. So yeah, it, it it's a toss up for me. It all depends on what my underground access is. If I've got a hook route, I'm going to check Fabul before going down a hook route. If I've got Magma Key, Fabul can wait a little bit longer. Yeah, but at this point, you know, we're two checks in, by which I mean, or three checks yet in even, by which I mean the starter, the, uh... Edward the, and Antline. Uh, the Edward and the Antline, and we've got literally nothing. Um, this absolutely says to me, go to Fabul. Um, we need, uh... You know, we need to make checks because we've got nothing to go on right now, anywhere. Well, we've also got the uh, the package here, so it is required. Uh, who's going to be the character there? Uh, then comes the question of, do we spike the objective now or do we wait? Because once you turn in that uh, package, you're locked in until you fully complete it to get yourself from that edge that we know, or at least Blue Cat knows that is sitting at the uh, Sand Ruby. 
in this case, um, uh, yeah, no, I would just do it right now. Um, I am, have, uh, it's required. Uh, I still am looking for to fill out my party, and it's, uh, it's a gated character check. Um, yeah, absolutely go. Yeah, I at least check it. If I'm not a huge fan of the character, I'll leave and wait to complete the objective later on. Uh, it's a quack kid. Not thrilling, but uh, if you're going to have a Palum in this flag set, uh, the start of a seed is the time to have him. Um, the, the, this period is when, you know, a Fire 2, an Ice 2, that will that'll win fights for you, and that's going to be really good. Yeah, we just, uh, hopefully that the, uh, <laughs> boss here is not, uh, too terrible. Because there are a few that can still sneak up on you. I, it, it, it's true, um, there are it, it occurrences that have happened where people might have issues with the bosses there. But in general, I, I don't think anybody actually worries about this particular boss slot. No, it is a matter of time. You know, if, if this is where the old gauntlet's hiding, <laughs> how badly do you want that palum? And how badly do you want that edge? At that point, uh, if it's something like that, uh, I don't want him at all. Um, like... You know, it's just... It's just but... The amount of time you want to spend, that's what it comes down to. Sure, but in this case, you know, the the, se the scene says this is something you that that is worth pursuing. I think. Um, and as Gwydion Knight points out in chat, uh, twin magic uh, will expedite that uh, that old gauntlet. Yeah, so we heard you like Palum. How about we find the dupe uh, sitting here at uh, Baron Inn with some uh, Kaipo guards? <laughs> You know, these characters I've... both are going to Kaipo, not not at Baron. I I would be thrilled to see this a few tournaments ago. <laughs> I mean, it all depends on what the second fight is. The second fight can can sneak up on you for physical. It hits pretty hard. Yeah. And with the amount of HP, it's like uh, Demist. I mean, at least you get some. Reprieval from it from it goes into mist phase uh but that's a 470 hit yeah and uh Purim, as we know learns blink late um this this second boss here is harder than a lot of people think um it's easy to get caught by it um yeah we've got some dolls here that are in uh in Kaipo, just a simple Thorage takes him out. Yeah, like this this spot has like no hit points, so yeah, easy peasy play. Alright, well with Frankie going through, working on taking out this Demist here. Gonna hope ah. to time it to our canes in the air for a couple strikes. Yeah, we will see how uh, how well that pays off, because uh, yeah, uh, this is a little bit uh, chancier of a fight than uh, than I would take right now. Uh, but that doesn't mean that's wrong. Um... I mean, also getting some dancing dagger swipes in there too. That's that's some extra damage. Yeah, I mean, and uh, you got like what three, four thousand hit points here to chip through. Um, the the, yeah. the jumps are where your money is, but yeah, the amount of HP that's in the spot is shocking to most. Is in the vanilla game, it's supposed to be an ouch from Yang that triggers it. Yeah, you don't I... actually go through all the HP, so yeah, it's a cutscene <sighs> fight. Like However, you know, Blue Cat has that Stardust Raw that he picked up in Dampsian. Gonna be able to do some uh, extra damage there instead of using the Dancing Dagger. 
Yeah, I could just already having that picked up the pala beads. Uh, that's so that's available, and he's gonna have a much easier time with this fight. I mean, now here comes the question: Do you bluff with Palom a few times, uh, and then you can uh, do like an ice tooth? On, on this, uh, you know, I yeah, um, I keep my turns alive uh, while it's in mist phase, and I bluff uh, if he gets a turn while he's in mist. Uh, very easy to multitask on that. Oh, that's even, a hook. Because even if Palom goes down, the stats are still there. Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, mist is the best, uh, the best case for, uh, for, for the bluff, uh, entirely, because it's a fight where you can bluff without losing DPS. We got the hook from there, so we've got a hook route. Question comes to me, does Frankie go up ordeals or check that hook character? Uh, looking to go up ordeals deals, first. Yeah. I mean, Which, I, uh... I can see it either way. Getting the character from hook first and then going up ordeals, getting the experience here as little as it may be, uh, but that can definitely turn the tides on certain characters. Yeah, um, like, I, I don't like to avoid ordeals. Um, like, yes, it's three bosses, but they're generally three flimsy bosses. Uh, sometimes you have to bail uh, if you want to do it quickly. Uh, and that's just, that that's a choice you make, and that's about it. Um, yeah, but I can also see the fact of if I do ordeals now, I can just go down the hook route straight away with yeah. what I have for experience. Yeah, like uh, you get you get the XP for the two extra boss fights, and you get the long-term fringe benefits of should you run into the Cecil in this seed, because there is a Cecil somewhere. Should you run into him uh, at any time when you still have any combats left to fight, uh, any XP bearing combats left to fight, you have him available to you. And Blue Cat gets through the Demas, gets the hook. Expertly done. Run buffer in to get that little bit of extra actions in there. I love a good run buffer. I feel like that's that's an art that I peep it's lost it's lost its luster, I think, in the eyes of people a lot lately, but it's it's so good. Like a good run buffer. Mwah. I mean, I mean, there, there, there's, there's high, there, there's a certain level of play, a high level of play, and then there's the run buffer level of playing. Ah, it just takes practice. Blue Cat decided to go check the hook character. Got Doctor Dialogue here on the back of a uh, back attack. I hate this. You know, I'm I'm fine with this one. Just no Val, please. Yeah, Val's quite unpleasant uh, there, though. No, I wouldn't necessarily worry about her here uh, with, with a cane that's quite capable. Um, the, the thing about here, it's a two-part fight that you know, it's it's made longer. Both halves are made longer because of the back attack aspect, and that's. It, it, it compounds the, the the already absurd extra length of this fight. Yeah, but but I mean at least the HP split up for this team, and it's uh, a little bit easier to get through. Yeah, yeah, it's it, it's not um, it's not hard. It's just annoying. As we said, the first phase, skipping the second one. Very nice. Look at decided not to loot any of the Evelyn Cave here, just beelining straight to that character check. Wonder who it's gonna be. It's a Sid with a sparkle. Ooh. I should reload my thing then. I think I'm behind. Ooh, a sparkle there. Uh, depending on what Frankie finds here on ordeals, uh, it, it's a one in seven that uh, it could be nightmare there are a few sparkle bosses um i wouldn't want to see here 
Yeah, um, I don't think anyone's ever happy to see a sparkle on the hook route. No. But it but is I mean... not going to be Wyvern, because that's a Luka Key on ordeals. Yep. Now Luka Key's gated by a turtle. Very <laughs> nice to see him out of that pool. Um, because he's here, he's, he's nowhere harder. So, I mean, looking at the, the sparkles that are still available, and Wyvern's out of the pool. Uh, probably the, the two hardest bosses at Ruby would either be Nope Noodle or Pale Dam. Um. Pale Dam, I'm not too worried about there. Um, we've got Porub. Uh, you blink through that and just. Uh, you know, it's it's not a fast fight, but you know, it's it's one that you're well equipped to handle in your current situation. Uh, o Ogo is really the one that I worried about. Um, yeah, Blue Cat going back, Luton finds a defense sword. Sorcrow finding some really good loot here in the cave for yeah. just this party. Yeah, I I'm real happy to see this. Um, Uh, D Lunars at Ruby can actually be a little bit problematic if you let them get away from you. Um, well, I mean, at least in the, the equipment I've seen. Okay, we've got some Bacchus, we got Sirens here at uh, Evelyn. Yeah. Uh, so, so that means uh, we're. Uh, w w with the wine there and the rest, I think we're low key hoping for a plague. Yeah, plague, plague would be about the easiest. If it's D Lunars, I've seen some Dragoon armor and some crystal. Uh, of rings, which will reduce the damage, uh, both from their physical and the dragon will actually reduce their uh, flame attack. Yeah. So we just do the frog strats and yeah, use the Bacchus I... and that's over. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like this, uh... D-Looters at Ruby are actually uh, the reason we have uh, frog strats. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I first learned about the, the frog strats. If the D-Lunars show up, we may end up actually seeing it. Yeah, I, I always hope for it. Um, like that, that strat's near and dear to my heart. Um, I, I was there that night for it, and it was an accident, just a complete accident that it happened. I think everybody was shocked. And we got Blue Cat, uh, Take on some mad ogres. Bacchus up that cane with the rune axe. Getting some life glitches. Yeah. What, what, what is a life glitch? So, whenever you use a life potion on somebody, uh, they come back with a certain number of hit points. That's determined by their vitality stat. Uh, it's a mult if you get like a multiplier, uh, your vitality stat multiplied by something. Every monster in the game has a vitality hello there, Adamant. Uh, every monster in the game has a vitality stat of zero. So that means if you use a life potion on a monster, it will have zero hit points. The game still counts that as a kill for you, so you get credited uh, for two monsters worth of XP. It is... A great glitch uh, really expedites uh, any grind in this game where you can get away with it. Mad Ogres having the adamant armor. That is... Whew. Uh, how, how much more of, the, how, of this are we going to be looting or are we going to be happy with just one? Or are we going to try and spike something else out of here? Well, I'm here. I feel like I'm just gonna grab the other chests, uh, the other trap chests also. But uh, looks like Frankie, uh, happy with just that. Yeah, Frankie's happy with one. Going, I've got one. I'm good. Let's go. Oh, Frankie! Yeah, okay. Fra Frankie already got the other two. Yeah. Oh, Frankie already got the other two. Okay. 
I missed him taking on the other trap chest. There we go. Uh, Blue Cat will show us uh, what we missed there. Oh, no. No, he hasn't gotten the uh, other trap chest. Oh, he's oh, full, he got he's all full yeah, looted. Yes, uh, Ed, Ed, Ed just took that as, as the only trap. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to see what the other trap traps here are from uh, Blue Cat here. Uh, you right, know... Here, uh, you know what I said about hoping for Plague? Uh, we are hoping for D-Looters. Uh, D-Looters, Plague... Uh, Plague would still be fine. Dragoon yeah, you're, you're, is you're a ranged weakness. weapon. You still yes, explain the weakness. Yes, you're right, you're right. The, the only, only boss right now that would be a problem is exactly Ogo Pogo. Yes, but that's... Ogo Pogo is always a problem. This is true. Ogo Pogo's one weakness is Berserk. Yeah. And even then, it, it's, it's not a real weakness. It's not one of the good weaknesses where it doesn't cut extra. It's just... It, it, it's a case where it's strong to everything else, and it's just it's just normal, vulnerable, the berserk. Right, because it prevents him from doing anything. Yes. As they say, the greatest offense is, or the greatest defense is the uh, great offense. Yes. Look out uh, here, okay. looking to get some more experience on this pal. Maybe hoping to get Quake on the kid. Uh, Early Quack Kid, always nice to have him with uh, Quake. Yeah, that is the thing here. Um, I do like to try and, if possible, if I can arrange Quake on, and the Berserk on the Porob is also nice. Um, just, uh, because you'd be, with, uh, with Bacchus in Eblin, you don't want to have to come back. It's very nice just to have the supplemental Berserk cast. Uh, the, the last trap chest only being a protect ring. Mm. It, it's decent, but it's not amazing. Yeah, like, that's it, something you could have fished out of any other chest. Right, but it's still it's worth a lot. Yeah. If you like, want to sell I'm, that to get your sirens and Bacchus? Like, okay. Yeah, like it, it's it's great to sell. It's valuable to wear. Um, it's it's not something you're ever set to see, but it's also like. We fought monsters for that? Uh, okay, so we've got, you know, came with a white spear, adamant, uh, Zeus gauntlet. Uh, yeah, Kane, Kane's going to be putting in some work here for us. He's a good boy. I mean, if you got the gear for him. Oh, yeah. Like, uh... He, he is definitely a gear-dependent character, um, and we have really hit basically optimal situation for him. Um, but, uh... Not even Cecil's flawless. He still dies if he runs out of hit points. No matter how hard that might be to arrange that. Well, and we've got just elements here at King-Queen. Uh, this is going to go fairly quickly. Yeah. Um, quite nice to have a split XP boss on a non-XP bearing spot. Right. And th th just sitting there uh, taking a 1,000 hit to the... Uh, right there in the head. Well, uh... Not even bothering the resin because it it does not matter. Nope. No experience in this spot. Yeah, and he's a base level. He's not really going to be contributing anything damage wise. So. No, nope, but he is a good anchor. He is, but again, not a real need in that in that slot. No. Yeah, chat mentioning showing off Val's holy weakness. Uh, Val in the elements, Val is weak to everything in that fight. The yeah. elements boss itself is kind of strange with the the weaknesses, as Mylon Z is no longer weak to what he's strong against air attacks and strong against curatives. Ruby's weak against mage 
smashing gear, and Val's weak against everything. He's completely uh, weird. Yeah, I, I... I I wonder if it's... Like, just the battle system not... Be, just being kind of janky with uh, swapping uh, that kind of thing around in general, and then having to do it multiple points in the fight, in the fight so it, it just got set up weirdly. Or if it was... Maybe, maybe the fight was designed, uh, like, programmed by somebody who had nothing to do with the other elements fights. That could be. Uh, we see a D Lunars here. Yeah, um, no problem whatsoever. Nope, and we're waiting. Yeah. Starvilles are going up. We're yeah, about to just... see some gold froggies here. Yeah, um, great idea. Um, just sit and wait. Uh, it'll go nice and uh, nice and quick until they cycle as they cycle through their attacks until the uh, breath comes out. And yep. the reason this works um, is because um, breath is reflectable, and the uh, D lunars. Um, are not resistant to it, uh, to, to the effects of breath. Yeah, because and... well, breath bypasses the boss, but you can't actually frog them or, or toad as a black magic spell because breath is a wide spectrum attack. Yeah, yeah, breath it's does not check. So yeah, yeah, breath does not check for uh for the for the boss status, whereas toad does because. Yeah, I mean, breath is not expected to be used by you. It's not something that's expected to be used on the enemies at all. And, uh... uh Blue Cat, uh, physically attacking the D-Lunars. They're now going through their reflected virus scripts. Yeah, um, you'll Which still hurt. get through. The jumps will still work. Um, and with one down, um, it's, uh... If only one's alive, it's uh, their AI gets weird. Yeah, it, it goes back to they're just casting a fire. Um, so it's going to be fairly easy to get through this. Just missing out on the XP on the rest of that party. Um... As, as some people like to say, we can get experience later. We have access to sirens. It's not a problem. Get through the fight as quickly as you can. Make up experience later on. Oh, that is actually very interesting about the breath. Uh, the boss bit is checking for the source of the da of da the damage, so it works on the uh, D looters because the D looters have the boss bit already. That's really cool. Thank you, Megalink. More knowledge from our chat. I, I learn something every day. Yeah, I, I love this uh, this fiddly little detail. It's uh, it's great. But both of our racers are through. Um, we've got Frankie Bones heading down to the uh, d down to the Fame Arch and Luca. Going Look at going over Tom Tomra. I mean, Tomra maybe looking to see if there's hourglasses here, maybe some camping gear. Uh, barbells. Yeah. Life potions. Like, okay. Yeah, can't complain. Always good to have. Okay, March having a heroin robe for our porum, and the freaky item being uh, just a rock. I mean, uh,. Do we technically call that French vanilla? <laughs> it's expedited vanilla. <laughs> because it's the end of the chain that starts there at vanilla. Yeah, because you get the rat tail from there at vanilla, you turn the rat tail to get the adamant ad rock. Like, eh, okay, I, I can consider that vanilla. Or French vanilla. Vanillish. Now, with at least with the adamant we have here with our runners, the Fey March bosses, do we take them on now? I would like to take a look first. 
Wh which bosses would you not take on? Most of them, but I would like to know who they are. I would not take on either of those. You see... Mylon's... Mylon and Friends is actually relatively free there. We have an hourglass. We, we can stop the stop all of his uh, minions, take out Mylon, and then take out the minions. Yes, but I know for a fact that I'm not fighting that antlion right now. So this means I'm going to be coming back here when I'm stronger. I can go through that Mylon fight much faster with that same methodology if I do it uh, later with the antlion. This is true. The antlion, technically, with the partner we have, is actually free. It's just going to take a little bit longer. Yeah, and it's like, I have other checks I can be making right now. Uh, at this point, I'm like, I'm going to Dwarf Castle. Well, the thing is, you also have to think of the uh, queen spot is an objective. Yes, but... I mean, it, as some people say, do, check your freebies, do your objectives. Are some of the things that you want to do when you're you're running and getting an objective out of the way? I can I can see it. Yeah, like I'm not I I'm, I'm not averse to checking an objective or trying to get it out of the way. Like, but it is as as we have here, you know, it it is quite possible. Um. It's just, uh, I, I, I would prefer to wait on it. Both our runners, you know, both, uh, both deciding to take on the Mylon and friends here. I mean, this just shows you how comfortable people feel taking on, you know, certain bosses in certain locations with an Abin armor. Yeah. Like, like, that's the thing. The adamant armor uh, means you are not going to lose either of these fights, full stop. And that is, that's very powerful. Just, you know, to be able to enter any fight that you have available to you, and just be able to know that you will end it victorious. That's, that's huge. Um, yeah. That, that's just why I'm kind of shifting the calculus that I would be taking look, looking at to be like but how long is it going to take relative to the other things I could be doing right now and again uh, this is this is not a case of right or wrong decisions here it's just there, there's a lot of different factors uh, that you can take into account as you're judging where to go next and because it's rando um any of these could be right. We get the pan for our troubles. I think that makes up for any time we may have spent yeah. extra in this. Yeah, that's uh, that's a great find there. Um, that 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 gives us a single dip on Sylph Cave, which is always nice. Yeah, like a, a seed where I don't have to run through there twice is a good seed. Yeah, oh, now, that's a, it's a good part of the seed. Yeah. So now, so now it comes down to the choice of you know, do we go check our our three uh, three key item locations here, Self, Sheila One, and Sheila Two, or do we wait to clear more of the underground before we go back above? Yeah. Uh, Frankie Bones just uh, bee lining it. Uh, fair cover. Um, it's free real estate. Yeah, I mean, you, you, I can understand the play, trying to find maybe the, the Baron Key or Earth Crystal, get a different uh, spice of characters in my party before I start doing too much else, kind of like finalizing the party. Yeah, and, you know, um, it's just, it's, a, it's such a rapid fire set of individual checks. Um, like this, uh, you like you're getting like three different results within a minute and a half. That's you know that that that's really your best value of the whole game, I think. 
Yeah, and, and especially, you know, with, with the early game not panning out with too many key items, uh, yeah. that leaves more key key items later on. Uh, unfortunately, you're yeah. only getting the Stardust Rod for, for uh, waking up the monk. Uh, hopefully, Sheila has uh, some goods for us. Yeah, well, we're, we're at a stage here that, you know, every dead check means the chance of value increases on all the others. Yeah, Blue Cat Loach getting through the Mylon on friends. We'll see what he decides to do. Will he decide to take on that antlion? Nope. Great Queen Exit up. item. Yeah. There it Spoon, so we've got that Edward. We're going to see if anybody goes back for him. Spoon and, and the... the darkness. Oh. Uh, I'm at least checking the character on the moon. Yeah. And then I'll probably come back to Earth to actually complete out the rest of the checks on the Earth. Yeah, I, th this, I think, is actually a point where, you know, both of our runners, uh, n nobody's done any really heavy investment in their party yet. Um, with, uh, with, with a spoon coming in there, uh, a known Edward and a moon check coming up for a character... Um, we, we've got a good opportunity to refactor our parties, uh, before, uh, w without really losing a, a serious amount of time. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, you also have to think of, do you start making some moon checks here, depending on the character you find on the moon? Oh, like if there's a, um, if there's a foo up here, do you, do you start doing moon checks? Uh... Quite like, quite possibly, yeah. Um, because you've got, you've, you've got, got an answer pass. to the physical, yeah. You've got the pass. You've got an answer to the physical questions of the moon. Uh, in that, uh, in that adamant cane. And you've, uh, if you can get, uh, you know, a, an an advanced uh, utility caster. Um. In this case, uh. Yeah, at, at seven key items, I start, uh... I, I, I start, uh, sweeping in a ribbon rule last sequence. Well, it looks like Frankie's deciding to grab the spoon word. Yes. And where it gets yes. to wear the spoon. And as uh, mainly going back underground, maybe gonna pop some, uh some yeah. eggs here yeah let's bootstrap our boy i mean now 10 key items like 34 000 experiences that's good oh yeah i i like that move that adamant around people get people worry too much about moving that adamant like it gives you an elemental weakness just uh, remember you've got a character with an elemental weakness. That's all you... And deal with it. Um, a, a, a extreme weakness to an element. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Um, how often do you uh, do you take elemental damage? Um, it's, it's something to remember. It's not something to be, like, uh, coy about move, not doing... Uh, not, not shuffling your adamant around. Like, uh, yeah. But it, it can sneak up on you, though. Like, if you think about it, like, the, the boss bots that where it does, you know, uh, HP-based attack, you know, it does, like, flame where it does 25%, uh, you take off that admin, well, it's going to be doing upwards of 50 to 60% of your health instead. Uh, yeah. Just to show you the weakness that you get from it. Yeah, absolutely. And you go in knowing that, and you go in knowing that, you know, um, you've got a character who's going to be taking that weakness. You're going to have to heal that, heal them more. You're going to have to let them drop for part of the fight. Uh, or indeed, yes, just, uh, you know, find a dragoon shield. Um, we've got some, got some leg here at dwarf uh, one. Sp speaking of elemental, uh, damage. <laughs> The thing is, this is going to be a pretty quick fight, as we see on Blue Cat's side. Uh, leg? Uh, 
I, I think uh, I think Kane's leg day one of it better with the jumping. Yeah, but uh, you know what? Uh, Rubicante has got made some sick gains. And we see Mylon Z as we've already seen Mylon and friends. Yeah, I think this is interesting routing on uh, both these runners because they're basically doing the same thing with uh, you know, the little detour to pick up Eddie aside uh, on Frankie's side. Um, yeah, I mean, and that's I mean, Adam and Spoonward hits just about as hard as a uh, Crystal Sword Cecil. The biggest difference is the uh, health pool. Yeah, uh, health pool, um, he takes a little bit longer to get online, not a ton, and of course we've got the sirens in him, so he he'll be hitting as, uh, as hard as we need, probably. As we see the fire two hitting that cane for, uh, 700? That's fine, he's got more than 700, you just, yeah. Well, that way you take it twice. Yeah, that's fine, um... We, you know, um, that's characters die. Uh, sometimes they don't get XP for a fight. Uh, it's not the end of the world. Oh, get we got, through, we got through it much faster than if we had moved the adamant. Yeah. Uh, Brydia, mm, learning some instruments. Find, uh, we get a pink tail. Uh, we've got a second adamant here. See, there we go. Everyone's a winner. Okay, yeah, this is uh, turning out to be a very well geared party. Um, I, you know, it's one of those things that do you leave two checks on Earth to go to the moon? At this point, yeah. I start clearing the moon. I've got two adamant melee uh, zerkers. I've got, I've got all the wine that I could have afforded uh, on the way down through a hook rope. And uh, a berserk caster. Um, it's time to clear the moon. Luca decided to uh, check, possibly go up to the top of tower here. Uh, yeah, we've got oh. an unknown sparkle up top there. Yeah, I mean, was it a sparkle up there? I don't remember what the. Uh... Sorry, yes. but sometimes I even forget to look at who's up there. Yeah, no, it was another sparkle. Um, very, uh, very glittery meeting up top as we passed it by. Mm. And I see that uh, the dumpster is kicking, the local dumpster. Um, someone, please um, let that uh, let that uh, let that marsupial out. <laughs> Uh, I, I think we need to uh, keep him in there so he doesn't try to, you know, berserk a D-machine or bonk an egg, because those tend to hurt a little bit. Uh, oh. Which sparkle do we have up here? Is it going to be a nuke burb? You know what? I don't hate this spot for nuke burb. No, magic is quite low in here. I can still actually hit our party. Yeah, like it's 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 rough, but it, it's one of those <laughs> spots where it's a lot more manageable than others. Yeah, uh, Kane completely dodging the nuke. Yeah. Uh, question is now, can uh, can he do enough damage before the? Uh, Nukes actually start coming out. Yes, yeah, yes, he can. He's got, he's got a dragon spear. He's just. Uh... Uh, he's actually got a white spear on right now. You sure? That was a crunch, crunch. Hmm. I saw, I saw just the end of the tip of the spear. Well, either way, uh, that did not work. Oh, that was a, that was a dragon spear. Hmm. I think I, I, I think I just caught the tail end of the spear no. when I saw it. That way feels bad, but we are going to go for it ag uh, again, looks like. Um, just dialing down that battle speed a little, which I 
you know, I, I think is really all that's needed to, to win that. Um, we don't need to do anything super fancy. Uh, no, I mean, I, I would think to put, you know, turn the battle speed down, maybe get some Star Veils up, because uh, having more party members up to reduce the chances of... Yeah, yeah, to... Uh, People re getting one shot? Boost. Yeah, which, uh, but, but just dialing down the battle speed is going to accomplish that. Not taking the save beforehand, though, that's, uh... He's... I hope that's confidence. Yeah, I mean, it, it could be. It could be confidence. It could be. I need. I need to not take the time to save. Yeah, it just. I. I, I hope it was a deliberate choice to not save and not forgetting. Ah, uh -huh. Frankie oh. Bones turning in the Luca key that we got from the Bull Defense, I believe. Uh, yes, yes, the Bull Defense uh, gave us the Luca key. Oh, from or ordeals, yes. Ordeals, ooh. Ordeals being required. Uh, hmm. Uh, like, I don't like passing ordeals. Uh, and, uh, looks like, I mean, looks like Luke Cat didn't save because he wasn't not planning on taking it a third time. Feels bad. Uh, deciding I faded ordeals long enough. Time to go up there. Yeah. I mean, fair enough, you know, um, sometimes you just gotta cut your losses on a check and just go, you know what, uh, let's go over what I've faded, uh, I'll do that instead. Yep. Y you don't want to put yourself into a situation where you just continuously try to take on a fight. You want to be able to take a break from it and get a new mindset on it later. Yeah, like, we have all sunk way too much time in a fight for that was not working, um, that we knew we shouldn't have at the time, but, like, we've all done it, but any time you can stop yourself from doing it is good. Yeah, uh, Frankie, unfortunately, does not have warp and has to walk out of Luca Cave here. Uh, not Whoa. something you see very often. Uh... Uh, but Ke Keeping Pal would have been somewhat nice here. You know, he does learn warp. I mean, granted, it's at the level 29, but he does learn it. Yeah, but you know what? Suck it up. Uh, your legs ain't broken. I mean, unless they are, in which case, I hope those uh, dangerous shafts uh, and ropes and bridges have uh, railings. We need, we need better safety equipment there. <laughs> no, where does Frankie go from here? We have the twin arc. We have another objective. I I, I want to say we're going, we're, we're going, we're going music. Well, it, it, yeah, there's also this possibility to where you make one trip to the moon and the Murasame is your go mode. Yeah, that's possible. Um, but Murasame, don't confuse Murasame and Masamune. Murasame is on the top. Um, yeah, I, 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 I think people. May, I mean, I've made that mistake. I know other people have. It, it's yeah, top versus bottom. They, they are very. And yes. they're both. I mean, you have Ogo Pogo versus Pale Dim. One's a dragon, the other one's not. But they're both noodle-ish. That's true, but an Ogo Pogo is a cryptid. It is a Canadian cryptid. That's not a dragon. Uh, it's I don't of Lake think. Okanagan. I don't think Blue Cat Lodge just turned in the pink tail there, Black Eyes. This is his first trip back up above um, after getting the pink tail. But I'm seeing some fancy emotes out there. Uh, we're in Cave Magnus. Time to get some music.
Right. Once, uh... Yeah, no, no, we were gonna have a really absorbing conversation right now, right? Just, uh... Oh, totally, 100%, because that's what we were supposed to do at this time, right? Yeah, just to talk, talk to really talk. loud and fast, make sure we talk over each other, too. We got some good crosstalk in here, so you can't hear anything at all. <laughs> Well, speaking of Pale Dim, there's a Legend Sword, so we have a guaranteed Excal for a Cecil, if we find him. All right. Yes. Nice find there, getting that out of the way. Um... I hate to say the exact title of that song is Stip My Mind, and uh, Frankie did not check, but we it was from Xenogears, uh, done by the lovely and wonderful Xenocat, who has uh, flooded Free Enterprise with uh, the sound, one of the finest video game soundtracks of all time. Well, not only that, but also putting in many other uh, harp songs for us as well. Yes. Oh. Yeah, look, look. Uh, and Zeno, I, I, for I, want, I, for one, appreciate it. Oh yeah. Zeno, Dora, I've, I've seen other songs besides Zeno Gears in the music pool that have been done by you, and I thank you very much for it. Yes, there's, there's an obscure Yoko Kano, uh, Sung from a Koei simulation game in there. That's you know that's you know cat's done. Like blue cat loach is going down to sealed cave, gonna be finding that twin harp, and it's gonna be oh so happy to get another objective out of the way as we just have on Frankie's side three left to do. Uh, Baron keys, we got two key items left that we need yeah and uh nowhere else to go but up yeah i mean character check here uh i i almost want to say we're set with our party i mean if we find cecil up here do we take him uh i'm not really ground yet yes i do um But, uh, I've, I've got different anchoring priorities than a lot of other players. Um, how, how I know, about I know the... a lot of people would want to keep that Sid. Um, how, how about a Tella? No. Just go, just go, go wait in the whale, Tella. <laughs> okay. I mean, so that gives us our, our last three character checks or Zot and Giant of Babel. Yeah, so as far as the seat is concerned, uh, Cecil is basically irrelevant, uh, ditto Edge. Uh, because as we go into the moon, we are going to start hitting our major leveling bumps, so it's 
We're, we're, we're not going to find Cecil at a point in time where it's really worth it. Yeah, and 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 as some people say, this is kind of training for if and when we hit brackets. As brackets, there is no Cecil in food. Yeah, not just harder to find; they're gone entirely. And that I think is going to be fascinating, um, just because Cecil has been such a load-bearing character for nearly every tournament. Um, to see him suddenly gone, uh, I am, I'm really excited to see what that's going to do to the landscape. Yeah. You know, uh, Frankie, going to Mercy Miller, we've got some orbs. The one, the only, um, no, we are very well equipped to deal with this fight, um, we've got, we've got Kane, uh, Frankie never got that dwarf axe, so he's just jumping that Kane, uh, which is always good to remember you've got that tool with him, uh, he's harder to back row glitch than any other back row glitchable character, but he can always, uh, hit back row for full damage with the jump command, and of course yeah. we've got Eddie. Yeah, the jumping just takes a little bit longer. Yeah. Um, looks like Blue Cat Loach is going to give us a second rendition of the music here. Very nice. And per Zeno Cat, that song is Ten Men of the Sea from Zeno Gears. Yeah, the one thing with the CPU fight is that it's primarily free just about anywhere uh it's just time consuming yeah um there there are times when it can be harder than free but that's usually that that's circumstantial um usually it's just an annoying fight frankie bones getting through it fairly quickly let's see what key item we get from here and another objective off the board yeah, we should see what it is not long before the uh, the music starts. Just a ribbon. I mean, that's not bad to have, um, especially with an Eddie. Um, it's it's a decent hat for him if you don't have like a ninja hat. Eddie gets to be pretty. <laughs> He's always pretty. Uh, the question now is, how far down do we go down the LST? Do we do the Crystal Sword Altar, or do we go all the way down? Let's see what we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I am going to Ribbit Room. I mean, we could, you know, maybe spike the Baron Key from Crystal Sword Altar, and then it comes a hard choice of... Do you fade the rest of the moon to make a gamble? I'm gambling on the double key item check with enough XP to serve as most of my grind. Hmm. Music. Yeah, more music. How about that ribbon check? <laughs> I, we're, we're able to deal with this. Yeah, just gotta hope that uh, <laughs> uh, Andy can survive. I mean, he's down to just one HP. It's one HP in a dream. Oh, poor him being down is the real problem there. Yeah, dodges the physical from Val. 
Uh, as soon as Val comes out of her spin here from the cane jump, she will do another physical punch. Yeah, I I would not be jumping this. I would just be uh That's why I wouldn't be jumping this. No, I mean if you're able to get through her spin with physical, um I would definitely say to not take her out taking those extra physical hits when you don't have to. Yeah, like there, there, there's spots. Yeah, there, there's spots where it's worthwhile. I don't think this is one of them. No. Maybe get some extra time here to re revive the poor and give her this uh, nice. If I'm counting correctly, two, four, six, eight, ten, ten key items, two hundred thousand experience here. Yes. Yeah, and that's that. That's why I was saying this. This really should be the first play. And just hopefully, hopefully Frankie can uh, get this form back up. Yeah. I mean, Eddie's just just going to town here, swinging his spoon. Uh, well, you know what? He's he's doing the job. He's getting it done. Yep. Excal and did I see that correctly? It's a tower key. I am behind again. No, that's a magma key. Oh, I just you know, it, the... a lot of these runners just go fast through these menus so quickly. I just catch a little glimpse. I see key. And that's all I see. <laughs> you you really only need to read like one or two letters. Yeah, I just read the wrong ones. That's all. <laughs> You know, Blue Cat Lich going back up to the Tower of Babel here. Gonna take on the Wyvern up here once again. There is our nope. There's our Nope Noodle. To go over Plague Spot. I mean, th this is a spot that actually has quite high physical. So, yeah, don't like him uh, here. Nope, as poor of uh, decides, uh, she's tired again and needs to take another nap. Yeah, of course, for being real, I don't like Ogo Pogo anywhere on the moon. Well, I'm almost wondering what, what, uh, what Frankie's porm is wearing. I don't know if he picked up the heroine robe in the Fey March or the Sork robe. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh,. Oh, okay, so she's in a sore probe. In some cases, the sore probe's nice, but in, in other cases, having the extra physical defense, I'd almost take the heroin robe. So she's since we already have adamant armors. And we got a rat tail. Possibility of a chain. Oh. You know... It, you only have the magma key. I, I I think it's clear out the rest of the moon before going yeah. back to Earth. Yeah, like with, like with only one uh, non-terminal key item so far, um, I'm not satisfied with uh, with this. So I just keep I I keep yeah. getting. And it looks like Frankie is is as well. Not not even going to bother. No, he's going straight down. Check the Masamune altar. Yeah, and, and the uh, other reason too is, in large part, you know, this this is your grind. Uh, these bosses uh, will get you. Look at that. That's free real estate right there. Yeah. So free. Free, 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 free. You know, Blue Cat getting through this wyvern, coming back. Oh. Finds the Baron Key. Ooh. Oh. That's exciting. I see. Uh, that that so feels good because you know he was hung up on that because otherwise he'd have gone to the moon too. Yeah, that is such a huge find. Blue Cat taking this, making it quite even of a race. I mean, if the Earth Crystal is here at Masa, it, it's going to be a close race again. 
Yeah. Like, it's been back and forth, but Frankie, I think, has pulled a little bit ahead with uh, with what happened with Blue Cat in the top of the tower originally, but Blue Cat taking it back and, and just... Yeah, like, mm. this needs to be Earth or... Oh, my God. Okay. I'm a witch. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're you're a witch. Uh, why did I have to witch things into existence? Oh, <laughs> we, we got a race here, like. Ah, uh, this is this is going very interesting now yeah, we it, here in the booth and chat we are in what's called no mode we know where everything is yeah so right now Frankie wants to find a tower key uh, as Sherlock Butler says because um, that's going to be the thing that drives him back to the check whereas Blue Cat needs to what Blue Cat needs is dead checks to drive him to the moon yeah if, if... I want to say you find a tower key up here. I think it's probably it's it's time to leave. You get one check on the moon. Yeah. Tower key, I think, would send Frankie straight. <laughs> How free has this moon been? Yeah. Um. This is this has been nice. Um. I mean, at least this time we have Edward at the party for Anna to uh, pep talk. Yeah, I mean, it's sweet now and not weird. Of course, this is still Wyvern's spot, so uh, the the punch you are going to take in the fight is going to hurt. <laughs> Mom Bomb here at the uh, Bygan spot. I actually forgot who was here. <sighs> Just the power shirt. Yeah, uh... Ugh. I mean... What? There's... I like power <sighs> shirts, but I don't have a use for it in this seat. Yeah, does Frankie go caving to, to cave Bahamut? I almost want to say, if we see... Oh, no, never mind. Not even bother to check to cave Bahamut. Just immediately saving... Going back to Earth. Yeah, I like that. Just drop the save so you can just head over there. Um, if it, none of this pans out, but you've got you've got promising leads for the rest of the mood. Um, well, just uh, the, the pro the problem is that you have to check something like Rat Tail or the Fame Arch, because once you do that Earth Crystal, you're locked into doing that, and you don't want to go back to the moon via a save scum. You don't want to, but if uh, you do Earth and it's uh, completely butkus, yeah. Um... But Earth Crystal is an objective. Oh, it is an objective. You're right. Yeah, so, I mean, if you were saves coming, doing Rat Tail, Top of Tower, Fame Arch, would, would, would definitely be the play. Going to, going to Zod here to do an objective, you don't want to reset out of that. Yeah, you don't. Uh, I still do like going for it first because uh, with, with what you fished out of the moon um, so far, um, it's not super likely there's gonna be what you're looking for at exactly um, at exactly K Bahamut. So uh, you know, you, you've got faster, easier checks. <laughs> and we found our good old map here. And Baron and Blue Cat decides to take the mop over Porum. I mean, at least Fu comes fully kitted out with all his spells at this point in time. If we've done enough bosses. Yeah, and here, oh, Golbez is holding our uh, doors open oh. today. Golbez being a nice guy? <sighs> Shocking. We, we may have actually taught him something. Oh! Power key from Baron. Ooh. That's not and uh, some more friend. vanilla. Uh, and what a loop-a-loop. -loop. Yeesh. 
I mean, it, it's all right. I mean, you, you, you're going to check the tower key because it's a Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you're absolutely just going to check this because you lit. Yeah, you're, you're going to. You walk gross. up three floors, do a single fight, unless it's exactly all oh, gauntlet, and then you're going, did it take you longer? We found a karate man. Yeah. Um. He can go and wait on the whale. Yeah. In, in Masidia. He can go to Masidia. He, he can spend some quality time with. Uh, who do we have there? Okay. Is this okay. even. So, so, Solaris, did you really randomize this or not? Like, so much vanilla. Like, were, were some of the cards stuck together when you did the shuffle? However, we found our Cecil. That's nice. And and and, and goodbye, Cecil. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's, there, there's no reason to take Cecil in this seed. No. I I would buy that Solaris. Um... Uh, Odin here at the top of uh. Top of Zot, gonna be fairly quick here, and we're just uh, One slicing, shot, yeah. yeah, slicing away with the spoon. So it comes down to where does Blue Cat go after this? We know Magma Key, Rat Tail, and Earth Crystal are all up on the moon. Uh, Sand Ruby. I don't, don't think, think we're going to be getting the edge. Uh, yeah, so no. look at... You know you have to do the Murasami Altar. You know, do you just go for the key item density first and then do your objective later? Or do you do your objective first and then go key item density? It's a I hard choice. It is, but, you know, I think you just do it on your way down. Frankie, yes. let's. Oh, go ahead and turn in that rat tail. And speaking of that, Sand Ruby. Oh, right, Antlion. Yeah, Antlion at the Fam Arch. I mean, I guess if you're right there, you might as well. It's, it's not gonna have anything as we know. Um, but, you know. Yeah. Um, you you might as well uh, take this out now. Yeah. Just a firebomb for wow. our rat tail. Uh, <laughs> that is, I think, one of the lowest tier items you can actually get from that type of check. Yeah, that's a tier four. Yeah, that's uh, that's a scene just walking up to you and being like, the aristocrats. <laughs> oh yeah, thanks. Uh, here's a stick of dynamite. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, it's, it's a realistic gift. I mean, what we we got the rat tail from Ogo Pogo, so what he gave us a one-time blaze cast. Yeah. <laughs> oh, coming back up now to the moon. Uh. Like the, the it's, it's so much animation back and forth. Yeah, I mean. But here comes the question, if, mm, boss, this is one of those things like, you you spent the animation time to come back here. Yeah. Doesn't even bother looking to see what boss it is. Yeah, it's just gonna take it, because he's, he's at a level where he can do it. No, yeah, I mean... Ew! We've got double adamant, we really don't care yeah, what it looks fine. like. It's fine, it, it's just, it, it, it's fine, it's just gross. Yeah. Oh, and and the wall being so nice of of deciding to take out our uh, our anchor here. Because I think we've got Edward with the adamant and our Porum with an adamant. So we've got 
the two major players with the adamants and Kane gets the blink. Meanwhile, Blue Cat taking on the Sant Lion. Counters deal what's called true damage, so even though this Kane may have the Abbott armor on, uh, yeah, no. Counter doesn't care. Counter looks at your adamant armor and laughs. Yeah, like this is really a fight where you've got that foo, you've got him at full power. Uh, nuke, 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 nuke. Yeah, however, with with Blue Cat with uh, some levels on the palm, not able to get uh, some decent anchoring, so this ant line is just super fast. As we see these punches just coming out left and right, and Vanilla Bahamut Summon. Solaris, you're, you're not allowed to shuffle seeds while you're sleepy anymore. <laughs> That's what, four? Four scoops? That's a lot of ice cream. Uh, <laughs> that hat line gave us a crystal sword. <laughs> Sell it, Whoa. Blue Coat. Er, Blue Cat. Sell it! <laughs> uh, honestly, yeah, that's dominance. really the best thing for it here. Well, Blue Cat hasn't actually... Uh, I don't think Blue Cat's gone to the moon yet. No. So it doesn't know that Cecil's not up there. Uh, Blue Cat actually going to check the uh, barren basement, it looks like. I checked that some runners tend to forget if it's not an objective. Yeah, uh... It's kind of out of the way and kind of hidden. Yeah, and it, it's also... It's also not the easiest check, so it's very easy to just have it available and be like, I'll come back for that later, and then you never do. But, uh... uh. Frankie heading straight to the top of Babel here, saying, I'm not going to take on that antlion. No, thank you. And we'll be greeted with a, uh, a wyvern. Meanwhile, Golbez sitting down here. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Golbez is free. Uh, still relatively dangerous because virus again does true damage so looks at your adamant and goes ha 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 uh however the demolishes from uh shadow yeah shadow's teeth are not strong enough to break adamant so at least those characters are safe yeah and blue cat did queue up a star veil on kane so yeah, we'll so be it's, able it's to do fine. everything just fine. Yeah. It's very much of a case of 90% of the time, this is trivial. And yeah, both Star Veils off, this is not going to be the outlier. Porum dodging the Mega Nuke like a boss. Yeah, she's got great multipliers for that, and she's got uh, Adamant to go with it, so. You know, Adam and Corum in particular will dodge spells like uh, you would not believe. Yeah, so K Kane's got the power shoot that, that, that Frankie got from the Crystal Sword Altar. Porum's yeah. now got the Adamant. Edward's got Adamant. Like, that's dealer with Adamant and a massive damage dealer. Frankie's got the Baron key. Frankie's got to go through Liberate Baron, and he will be in go mode. Uh, Blue Cat. Got to do the Murasami altar and has to go all the way down to the bottom. Finds an Avenger here and goes, no, nope. I'm good. Oh. I think I would keep that if I were him. But uh, you've got Bacchus. Uh, Avengers are nice. Um. But if I've got Bacchus, I'd rather not take the walking time out of there. 
Yeah, but at that point I feel like I've already sunk it into a long fight. The, the extra time extra is a drop in that bucket. But... Well, you, you, the only thing is you have to think about the time sink of going into your menu after every battle to re-equip your, your new Dragoon Spear or your Defense Sword. And that can that that time can add up too. It does so. add up. Uh, now it is late enough for that will come up a bit more. But look at will will he take the Tella as a new anchor? Since I did see him checking a lot of the armor shops, looking for possibly a curse string. Uh, Sides, nope. Happy with the palm. Yeah, like, that's fine. Um... None, none of the moon fights really have problematic agility, um, so, and Pelham's pretty pokey, so he'll be slow enough for most purposes. Yeah, I think the one fight, at least here on the moon, that's a major problem is the, uh, the White Spear Ultra with that Ogo Pogo. Yeah. Frank Bones finally makes it into Baron. Gonna look at this uh, mom bomb and go, ha ha ha. Now yeah, just have a nice scoop of mom bomb. Oh, would would that be like a, a spicy soup that mom bomb would make? Or maybe like a one of those weird savory ice creams there is that too like i'm thinking like a firecracker stew yeah could be a uh, nice big ladle uh i mean we, we, edward does have the spoon so we can definitely ladle it up yeah And here's our friendly old plague. Do 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 we have a kamikaze? No, we don't. Oh. Uh. uh and then we come to as we call it the longest crumble animation ever. It'll give us time to wonder if he takes it. This is true. And for those of you wondering, the Plague does have the longest crumble animation because the extra numbers above the head uh, count as sprites, so it just adds more lag. Yeah. Like, the influences of lag on this game are surprisingly lots. Yeah, let's say it's a high foo by foo. Yeah, which, fair cup, um, he doesn't need the foo, um. Yeah, it does need the food. Feels pretty comfortable with the party we have. We I mean we have a base level ready for our anchor, which, I mean, not bad. I mean, Fu is actually a pretty good anchor in himself at, for Z. Yeah, um, but up at this point, you know, you've cultivated your anchor for the whole seed. There's, you don't want to swap that way. Well, if I'm, I mean, if you're swapping for a food that has all of his spells, having an extra possible cure for or an extra Zerk caster. Um, way to recover in a fight if necessary. It can be kind of nice to have sometimes. Yeah. Um, like if it was... Like, like putting him over the forum is uh, a potential option too. Uh, some people can get really nervous with her lower hit point numbers, though I think Frankie has correctly assessed here that uh, a level 52 forum in adamant armor, even with her hit points looking dangerously low, will reliably uh, have sufficient dodge to just uh, just be totally fine in this upcoming fight. Double checking the inventory to make sure it had the crystal. <laughs> I can't blame him there. Uh, we, we've all uh, we've all done that. <laughs> yeah, like, do I have the crystal? Um, mm, don't want to go into the fight with... Sleepy little blankets coming out. Yeah, they look so comfortable. I mean, we started this race 
hour and a half ago. It's a it's a late night a free enterprise night race. Ago, it's yeah. it's a good old nap time, right? Yeah, I mean, you know. No, no. We are actually in in free enterprise. Zeromus is remains the final challenge of the game for reasons both technical and flavorful. But we can't leave him completely unrandomized. So we, we have something that we wonder about Zerobus every single seat. Yeah. The gold question. Uh, it, it, it has to do with uh, some picking. Uh, possibly a butt. Yeah. Right? Um, I think... How does it... Right. Whose butt are we going to kick tonight? And how cute is it? We yeah, know butt is cute because all butts are cute. But does it have a butt? Is the how question. many butts are they? Oh! Meta Knight. One butt and it's very cute. Very true. And we have the the Bacchus going out. Slowcast may not have had a silk web, but gonna be nerfed in this first big bang. Unfortunately, Edward takes the counter nuke, survives it. Do we have a you know like cure three or an elixir? Ooh, yeah, we want to get that out on him before the uh, before the counter goes off. Yeah, five hundred twenty nine <laughs> is not enough HP to be able to survive that. Mm -hmm. Like I always say, like on, you know, uh, if if you're uh, if you're using him berserk, on average he'll have enough to survive a uh, nerf big bang. That's that's on average. Sometimes he'll die, uh, but not if he takes a counter duke. If he takes a counter duke, he won't survive a nerf big bang. It's him. Yeah, Frankie using the cure four uh, directly on Edward. Cure four having that zero. Uh, cast time, be yeah. able to get that off. Using a cure three, it has a longer cast time, may not be able to get it off. Yeah. But, uh... Blue Cat here go finished up with the the, uh, the CPU fight, went straight to the ribbon room and is now fighting this Val here. Uh, having a bit of troubles with it you know a few party members are going down getting back up yeah it's blue blue cat just go enduring it because it it is as we we said it's it's an annoying fight uh not a terribly hard one but it's an annoying spot for her yeah and decided deciding to jump to take her out of her spin so he can actually hit with the nukes from foo because uh, this is a spot where she has perfect magic defense. Yeah. And wants to be able to get that extra damage out. Yeah. Big Bang comes out and Edward goes down. Yeah, to be expected there. Um, we'll see if he comes back up. Um, we've got the black hole, so we may see a, a cane turn used for it, for it also. Um, or, or, or even a form as we do have Bacchus. Yeah, we've got a little bit of extra time because that was the black hole turn. So, the nuke going on Porum is actually great um, because, as we've seen, she, uh, you know, she can soak magic hits like nothing else, and a group cure four will be more than sufficient on um, those two low hit point characters. Oh, yeah, and even Kane with his, you know, massive health pool, uh, only healing three people. Yeah. Uh, we're, in, we're in rocks, it looks like. Yeah. Will, uh, will Eddie get the final hit here, or will it be Kane? Uh, looks like it was Kane, and that is it. Frankie Bones takes the win versus Blue Cat Loach. We'll see if we can get Frankie in here for an interview. Uh, meanwhile, look at getting through the Valve Alice fight. And then has to make the choice of either going to White Spear or the Masamune Altar. 
And yeah, a uh, beautifully done uh, Zoroba's fight there by Frankie. Um, like, you know, uh, excellent handling of, you know, low hit point. Like, if they're very glass cannon strats. Um, it's it's easy to get nervous when your characters don't have many hit points, and uh, oh, yeah. people will avoid taking a poor Umber and Edward uh, when, you know, as Frankie's demonstrated here, uh, you know, just uh, careful handling of your turns, and you handle that beautifully. I think we've got him right now. Yeah, I heard the little boop. Uh, we are joined by Frankie Bones, a GGS. Yes. Yeah, we we can hear you. Perfect. Yes, GG Frankie. Um, yeah, uh, as you may have caught the end of a uh, gorgeous Zeroma's fight there, like uh, Thank very, you. very nice work with the Borum and the Yeti there. I was uh, it's not exactly Team HP there, so I was a little nervous going into it. Um, yeah. It we, we we saw you go back to grab the Edward as you had the spoon. Uh, is that something that you you like to do? Like you get the spoon, you have a an easy Edward. You're like, cool, I've got spoonward. Or was that just in this case of the party that you had? It was the party. It was a little bit of both. I mean, it was early enough to go back and get him. Uh, I mean, he's really powerful. With after getting the adamant, um, I knew I could deal a lot of damage. Uh, I didn't really particularly want to level up Palom, but uh, that ended up being kind of a mistake because I had to walk out of uh, the sealed cave, which was never, which is no fun. So, um, but I do. I, Edward's so powerful with the spoon. If it's early enough, I'm, I'm inclined to take him. Being here, like only 38 treasures taken. Um... Were you feeling any kind of uh, gear crunch, or were you happy with uh, what you found? Uh, I found a ton of good stuff for Kane in the early game, so he was pretty much set. Uh, once I had the adamant and the spoon, uh, they were good. Horum didn't end up with too much. I was just, you know, I knew I was going to get another adamant from the pink tail turn in. Uh, I, I started that on Kane, but eventually I knew that was going to go to Porum. My plan was to reset out of the Crystal Sword Altar, but then I got the Power Shirt, and I said, well, this works out perfectly, so I could give that to Kane and, and switch over the Adamant to Porum. Yeah, very nice. Uh, we noticed that. Uh, yeah, just see, just seeing you swap around the Adamants as needed was, uh, you know, uh, not a lot of people will do that just because of the weakness, which uh, that did bite you a couple times, but you know, you had some great results from it otherwise. Yeah, it's it's a little bit of a risk. I, I think, I don't know if it was Elements or Ruby that was hitting Kane for, I don't know, 900 on the fires or something. It was pretty yeah, it was it, it was Ruby at uh, Dwarf 1 hitting Kane for 700. Uh, yeah, having the extra weakness to fire there. Uh, definitely took Kane out, but you got through the fight and you got through Mylon Z right after. Yeah, can't Very well done. The results, yeah. Thank Was you. there any thought of your mind about that ant lion at the Fame Arch? Yeah, I was gonna fade that to the end. <laughs> uh, that was always gonna be last. Uh, that fight, even if you have adamants, you know, the counter still takes off HP. I don't know if it's like 400 or 500. Around there, yeah. Yeah, something like that. And it's real. It's really annoying with the Zerk. And, you know, Edward and Kane were doing enough damage that, you know, I didn't need to Zerg, but it still would have been slow. So my thought was I'm checking everything else before. I mean, I even went back to Cave Bahamut before I went down there. So uh, it was going to it was going to be last. Yeah, we, we, we saw you save there on the moon before going down, uh, before going back up to the moon. Like you're going to say, was it just a... But second choice of no, I'm gonna do Zot instead of save scumming. Or yeah, I, I did save scum, but then I realized uh, I got to do Zot, so th it was kind of a pointless save. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, so once I did yeah. that, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go back up and clear that because I don't want to with the pass. I don't want to leave it there, 
and you know if I live and die by Kila Sour, so be it. Uh, so I, I, I the save scum was in, intentional, but it, but it didn't work out. Once I went up Zod, I was like, well, that was pointless, but not too big of a time loss. All makes sense, and uh, you're not the only one who forgot that you had to do it. So hey. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm yeah, like, exactly. uh, I'm, I'm like, oh yeah, well, he'll just uh, pop back if there's nothing. No, he has to do it. <laughs> yeah, one of those things, like doing these, you know, a massive amount of objectives, sometimes you forget, oh wait, I actually have to do this. Well, fine, saves come for nothing. Yeah, it's, it's happened to me on more than one occasion. Yeah, there's so many objectives on these. It's a it's a really interesting uh, way of going about it because, yeah, you, you, it's easy to get used to being able to just uh, nope, nope out of a check that you don't like. Definitely. I mean, you, you, you put a good time. Was there any any point of the seed where you thought that uh, you had some issues with or any extra thoughts on this particular seed with what's going on here? Or? Um, I mean, I didn't, I guess... I didn't particularly like walking out of Sealed Cave, but that's also not the first time I've done that. Uh, I did have to remember in the last... I was confused about where to go in the last room, because it's been a while, so... Uh, I, I shouldn't... I always forget to wait until the very end to burn the village with the package. Because if... I was thinking the whole time if, like, Cecil or Fu is behind the Sand Ruby, I'm gonna have to wait through that cutscene for a Palom that I don't want. Um, just to even check the sand ruby. So, luckily it wasn't an objective. I wasn't going to go back there, but um, something for me to remember for next time. Yeah, th some people will check the, check the sand ruby character first to see if it's even worth it, or if it's an objective, just wait to have a sand ruby before turning in the pass, or turning in the package. Um, you know, you did have you did have Rydia for your uh, anchor at the time when you did Sealed Cave. Is there a thought of maybe giving her some levels since she learns warp at an earlier uh, earlier time than Palom? I, I thought about it, um, but I didn't I didn't have a cursed ring, and I didn't particularly want to give up the. Uh, I thought because I still had to go to the moon. My thought was I could make up the time with a proper anchor, or at least a RA1 anchor. I mean, I think I had two adamants at the time, so it was probably a moot point, but that was my thought process, was I just want to keep the anchor intact to keep the moon smooth. Because I knew I had a lot of nasty bosses left on the tracker. I mean, the moon wasn't particularly kind. Uh, I was just glad I didn't see Golbez up there. There was two spots that were kind, but the other two were not so great. I mean, there was Val and Ogo and uh, someone else at the top that I don't remember. It was a CPU at Murasame. Yeah, exactly. So it was nice to have two freebies mixed into those three not so great bosses. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Mian, you got any other questions? Uh, no, I think we've uh, been over it pretty well. Uh, yeah, uh, very nicely done. Uh, especially like that's a this fight. Uh, yeah, uh, very, very cleanly done with. Yeah, with the short hit points, it's very nice. Thank you. Uh, thanks to the Rooster team. Thanks to uh, Neon, Tybalt, Solaris, and Black Ice for doing this so late into the night. I appreciate it. And GG's to uh, Blue, Blue Cat again. Ah, yeah. Where, wherever there is an absurd hour to comment over a race, uh, here I am. It's always fun to do these late night uh, commentary. Yeah. Um, I, I honestly wish more people did, uh, these late races, um, cause it's, uh, you know, I, I know I'm here, uh, I know there's, there's other people here, uh, if, if, play late, we'll, we'll, we'll talk for you. Uh, and speaking of playing, uh, when's your next race, Frankie? Uh, we, I'm set up for Thursday at 10 p.m. Eastern. So that'll be my next race uh, versus I I don't remember off the top of my head. I'll have to look it up. But we are set for 10 p.m. on Thursday. Oh, looks like it's uh, John Burkhead. Yep, that's right. Thank you. Well, he's been uh, practicing hard also, so good luck. Thank you very Definitely. much. 
and, and, and GG's it. once again. Everyone have a good night. Thank you. Yes, yeah, you, you too. Uh, while we were interviewing Frankie there, Blue Cat found the Earth Crystal, went up Zod, did not take the Cecil, I don't believe, and is uh, finally going to Z here. Gonna be kicking some butt. Yes, uh, Meta Knight will not be having his revenge tonight. No. Though, if I remember his party, if it hasn't changed too much, I believe it'll probably be more of a hybrid strat. Because I believe it still has the Palom, Horm, and Fu. Maybe even a full reflect strat. Uh, um, I believe so, but we'll see. Uh. In, the, in this particular flag set, uh, it's almost a toss-up on the uh, type of Z fight that you do. Like, I've seen it go both ways, where it's Reflect, it's Hybrid, it's, you know, never one of the, the newer strats that have come around of the, you know, the Edward strats or the 1200 HP strats. It's, you know, it, get, it gives more of a variety for just pure power. Yeah, like, that's the thing here. Um... I, I, you're going to see less extended grinds on this flag set in general, just because there's so much completion needed, you are going to gain levels, uh, no matter what. And a lot of those, uh, those esoteric strats, like Eddie strats and all that, they are, they're compensating for not having levels. Uh, you only do that if you have to, because you can't just beat the robots to death with, uh, with a weapon. Or a spell. Crystal goes out, Bacchus goes both on Kane and Sid here. Has a silk web from that uh, public treasury, so could be able to get that counter nuke out here and really slow down Zeromus. Or Meta Nidus, I should say. Yeah, should go very nicely here. And, and yeah, like... You know, uh, people say the flag set does favor Berserkers, which, you know, you're making so many checks, uh, and there's adamant available, you're getting a lot of gear, but, you know, uh, you, again, you will get enough levels that you can, can very easily have some vi very viable casters on the end. Yeah, I mean, there have been times where your melee characters like Kane, Edge, Cecil, are completely buried and not even seen. Yeah, like in this case, right, this seat here, the irrelevant Cecil. Um, like, and that's the thing, you really gotta play to the seed rather than play to your preferences. Bitch. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's me saying that. But... Yeah, look. Just because I don't do that doesn't mean it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like we're going more of a, a hybrid strat here, throwing out the the nukes, and we have the Zerk Gasters getting that extra damage in there. Yeah, like if, if you have the nukes, use your nukes. Don't believe it has any Ether 2s or, or anything like that, so you gotta be. A little, little stingy with this uh, Fu's MP here. See if you'd given Kane MP. Uh, oh yeah, I don't have anywhere I'm going with that. I mean, what you you can you can use a little thread to steal 10 MP. Can maybe cast a cure two. <laughs> that, that's several hit points. I mean, we did see some Soba drops, so we could have given Kane MP. We could have even get, given Sid MP, because I think I saw two. What, what, what is Sid going to do with MP? I mean, he's already a, he's normally a chemist throwing out cure potions. I mean, he could be considered a battery too. Whoops, like, uh... 
Bella might be running lower on MP. We've got a virus going out there. Or did? Oh no, that's he. Do, he doesn't have nuke. Uh, he does. He doesn't have nuke. He he launched an ice three for the first time and then uh, reflect a virus. Yeah, like I d I just looked at the hit points and I realized that's not that's not nuke and hit points. No. But uh, time going down here. We're in a rocks phase here. Meta Knightness is not long for this world. Kane completely dodging the Meteo entirely. Yeah, Adamant is beautiful. And I believe with that final swing there, there's the Snap Crackle Boom. Meta Knight is down. GG's to Blue Cat Loach. We'll see if we can get him in here for an interview. Yes, absolute GG's. Uh, should be along shortly, I believe. And there and it is. We were joined. GG's Blue Cat Loach. Thank you. Okay. But, go ahead. No, I was going to go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I noticed uh, you really went all in on uh, on that uh, on the Earth play. Um, and just in general, uh, clearing the whole uh, the whole Earth before uh, doing anything on the moon there. Um... Yeah, and it certainly seems to have uh, backfired quite a bit. I, I I don't think it's so much much backfired as in. Uh... You know, if you actually watch this pack, you find the Baron Key just as uh, Frankie had found the Earth Crystal. Yeah, like and it was... Frankie didn't have the Baron Key at the time, so you had both found the last two key items between both of you. Uh, so you had pulled what time you may have lost early in the race, you had pulled it right back into grasp. Yeah, like, it was actually really interesting just seeing how you both just did that conversion, like, bo both hit one key item away at exa basically exactly the same moment. Yeah, I mean, that's something I find in the flag set is there's often, like, uh, often get to these forks in the road where it's like, do you go moon, do you stay on the earth, and I picked stay on the earth this time, and, uh, yeah. I do kind of wish I did go up to the moon earlier because, I mean, I did have Kane, I did have the uh, Dragoon Spear, and I did have a couple of Sirens, so I easily could have brought myself up to speed to take on some bosses up there, no problem. But, uh, well, that's how it goes. Um, you know what? I You played everything really nicely. Um, it just uh, didn't pay off the way you wanted it to on... Uh, on this time around yeah right. and those uh wyvern wipes didn't feel good either <laughs> oh yeah uh, oh we, we felt so bad for you like it was it was heartbreaking yeah we were like okay yeah this is going well this is going well he's got a chance he's got a chance Oops, <sighs> accidentally picked jump uh and, and, it, and, it, and it just feels bad i mean if, if you look before that like you and frankie were just neck and neck just following each other back and forth back yeah. and forth frankie decided to do early ordeals you didn't and you know you ended up going back i mean you both went underground around the same time it yeah, was it just was back really and forth tight. yeah then there was the uh taking the package uh palum when there was another palum waiting at baron in you know what? You actually cleared that fight like uh, much faster than uh, than he did. You were both doing it at the same time. Yeah, uh, having you, that extra you, palum yeah. for the uh, Stardust Rod definitely helped out there. Yeah, like you came in later, you were out sooner uh, because of it. So I, I don't actually think you lost any time to picking up that first palum at all. Like That was unironically a great call. Yeah, it was a really, uh, lo it, I mean, there was lots of good loot at the start, but there's nobody to equip it on. So it was kind of a really slow start. So Palum just like, well, I have a Stardust Rod, it might as well. Yeah, de definitely. And uh, yeah, he did good work for you there. 
Uh, any other thoughts on the scene of, uh, you know, where you thought you may have had some issues or where you thought, hey, I found some really good stuff? Uh, no, I think it was a pretty uh, textbook seed there. Tried to compensate for that low power start, and then the seed kind of starts jetting towards the middle, and then you get that whole fork in the road, and yeah, a lot of seeds go that way, and that's why you just you can't you know count anyone out in this because there's always opportunities to kind of gain and lose time. Yeah, finding that that uh, admin armor in the mad ogre chest was. <laughs> My eyes were wide open when I saw that. Oh, yeah, like, great find there. Do you have anything else, Neon? Um, no, I think we pretty well covered it. Oh, uh, when are you going to be racing this? Uh, tomorrow I'll be up against uh, David B. At, uh, I think, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. All right. Well, good luck to you tomorrow, and yeah, good luck. Thank you. Yep. Well, Neon, it looks like our time here has finally come to an end, but it is not the last of Free Enterprise. As tomorrow, we have four more restream matches. We have the Asia Shield group. We have Night Dew versus Elven Sorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Time on the Free Enterprise channel. We have the Cat Claw group being, being Judge Joe versus Poidrak at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time on RPG Limit Break. And coming later in the night, the Defense Sword group with Dragus versus Nitsi at 8 p.m. Eastern Time back on Free Enterprise. And then the final race that's being restreamed is the Crystal Ring group, one that's near and dear to me. Uh, we have myself versus Cellfire at 9 p.m. Eastern time back here on Free Enterprise 2. Yeah, and that one is going to be a real barn murder. I am looking forward to it. Um, also not on the restream, we've got a full but, uh, day of races going on as well. You can always see uh, whoever's streaming Free Enterprise uh, on the... If you join our Discord and go to the live streams channel, it'll show that. Um, and again, we've got, uh, we've got those restreamed races. We've got a bunch of other uh, players who are just going to be doing their races uh, off restream as well. A uh, bunch of good ones, uh, plenty of uh, free enterprise. Uh, it's day yeah, two of the Adamant Cup. We've got so much more ahead of you. Yeah, we got races starting at 2 p.m. Eastern, going all the way to starting at 10 p.m. Eastern. So a ton of races tomorrow. And yeah. yeah. GG's both to Blue Cat Loach and Frankie Bones for racing. Shoutouts to Neon via my co-commentator, Black Eyes for the tracking, and Solaris for doing the restream. Yes, thank you everyone, and I want to thank everyone in the audience for coming out to watch. Um, it is great. We uh, we wouldn't be here without you know without people to watch. You know, and. Uh, yeah, and good luck to you tomorrow, Tybalt, and yeah. Yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Yeah, good night. We're just going to be signing off because everybody else is done for the night. Uh, good night. Get some rest for tomorrow.